Good morning guys and happy Monday. I think this week we are going to bring you guys along for another little weekly vlog. I like doing these because they're super chill and I do think we have a few exciting things this week. I think we're going to Melbourne for an event on Thursday. Um, Olivia's got a couple appointments this week. Just still setting up my apartment. I want to do this week. I want to get back into like a solid gym routine because the last few weeks I've just been so out of my routine and not going to the gym consistently, which is fine. Like I've enjoyed just being relaxed and not going because I like was moving and then went away and then got sick and so I just didn't have a consistent routine but I'm really keen to get back into that this week. So I did wake up early and went to the gym and did a workout with two of my friends and then I went for a little walk. I'm making homemade sushi tonight so I went to the shops and got all the ingredients for that which I'm so excited about because I love homemade oh. I love homemade sushi and sometimes I honestly feel like because it's so fresh it just turns out so much better than sushi you'd buy from like a shop. Good morning guys. It's 8.30 and I just finished at the gym. We're recording two episodes for our podcast today which is very exciting. Tomorrow I have my hair appointment which I'll talk to you guys a little bit about later but I'm thinking of doing a big chop. I posted on my story a while ago and it's just always been in the back of my mind of like something I wanted to try. So I feel like it's one of those things where I just need to get it done and do it. If I hate it, my hair will grow back. Nothing I can do about it. I could always put extensions back in, but the whole point is to try and get my hair healthy and thick after wearing extensions. So. I'm just wearing active wear today because I think I'm going to try and go to the gym after the studio. So it's just easier to wear active wear as my outfit of the day. But I just put on this brown jacket and then my new balance. Alright guys, so we are going to head to the podcast recording studio now. We have this segment at the end of our podcast where it's like a hot or drop. It's basically like a thing that you love or hate that week and I genuinely am struggling to think of something. We well, have to do two. Well yeah, we're, we're, we're recording two episodes so I need two but I can't even think of one. I have one, I just need to think of another one. Are you taking lunch? I packed some lunch to take because we're there for like three hours and I'll just have that. What have you got in my lunch break? Some rice and tuna. So guys, this is our little setup. This is where we sit and we have our seat. So this is my chair. Which also was in, in the pack. I just pack. didn't have time. I just, I mean, I had time. I was sitting and watching a movie while I was doing it, but I just yeah, you couldn't be bothered. three hours. Your already. responsibility. Yeah, it yeah. should be their responsibility to, you know, own up to their actions and what they've done and go and tell their partner. I agree with that. So we just finished our first episode of the day. Not our first episode, but our first episode of the day. And it was really, really good. It was really fun talked about some really fun stuff just having a little lunch break got my tuna and rice i was actually like i was getting hung hungry pains sitting in the chair and all i could think about was food towards the end so weird memory childhood memory that just resurfaced last night when i was like in bed do you remember when we were in primary school i don't know what schools did this but like maybe like every quarter of the year you get like that little magazine that comes around and you can order things from it. Yeah, what were they called? What was it called? Do you know what I'm talking about? And you can order like... It was like book... No, it was like, it was like books and, and like little tweets. Yeah. Did you have that? Yeah, book, like a book fair kind of thing. It wasn't so book like, fair, but it was, it was like... Books, heaps of books. It was like a magazine that went around. You and you circle what you want. Like, Big day. I'm making homemade sushi for dinner tonight and I'm so excited. I love homemade sushi. I have already pre-cooked the rice in the back and I'm just marinating some teriyaki chicken. Oh. Trying to be up for a while in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, I look fine. Good people, times a good wine. Good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine. Good wine. Good wine. Good wine. Good wine. Good wine. 
Good morning guys. So I think I might be cutting my hair today. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I don't know. I'm gonna chat to my hairdresser because I haven't fully spoken to him yet about just like if he thinks it will work with my hair and my hair is just so it's quite long, I would say it's long, but it's so thin and dry. Like even if I didn't want to cut it short, this much needs to be needs to go. <laughs> It's so dry, it's like straw. And I'm telling myself a pact to not wear extensions for a while because I've literally worn extensions since like the end of 2021. Kinda nervous. Got my coffee. I need to start doing my makeup soon. I will probably see you guys at the hairdressers. Okay, so I've just arrived at my hairdressers. Well, I'm parked right out of the front. And oh my god, I'm so nervous, but I'll probably like film a little bit in there, but it'll probably be really really loud. I will update you guys when I'm out. But I'm so nervous. Hi guys, so Olivia's been at her hair appointment all day. And I don't actually really know what she's doing. She hasn't really told me. I do think she's cutting it though. She's been saying she's thinking about it. So I don't really know what she's ended up doing. So I'm very excited to see when she gets home. Um, but yeah, today's pretty chill for me. I am gonna do a little bit of apartment shopping. I really wanna do plant shopping. I'm on the hunt for some nice little fake plants. So I think I'm gonna do that today and I'm also just gonna go to pack fair and do a little bit of shopping. Nothing in particular that I'm looking for, but I'm just gonna go and see what I get. If I get anything, I'll give you guys a little haul later today when I get home. I also think I'm gonna try and give Rufus a wash because, where are you? There you are. There's like a little dog wash thing down the road and he really needs a wash because he stinks. Anyways, this is my OOTD. A little plain singlet, this striped shirt, my dark denim jeans, and I've got my Uggs on because apparently Uggs have now become a fashion statement, so. Me and my hairdresser literally were in shock how good it looks. He literally nailed it. Like I genuinely, I don't think he could have done a better job at like nailing my inspo photos and just doing what I described. Oh my God, I love it so much. Literally no one knew that I had this appointment today. I think like Ashley was the only one as well, so. I'm gonna go home and surprise her with my new hair. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just tried to call her, but she didn't answer. So I hope she's home, but let's see what she says. And then I'm also, I need to show my mom and my friends and my boyfriend, because no one knows. <laughs> oh my God, I actually am obsessed though. I just feel like it's what my hair needed. I needed a change. I needed like a new, like even my hairdresser was like, you literally look like a woman. Like you look like a classy woman. Just, it's giving woman vibes. Let's try again. Let's see if she answers. Oh, hello. Oh, is that why you had that little laugh? Because she was getting like cut. Yes. It looks lovely. Are you happy with it? I am so happy with it. It looks so good and it just feels so fresh and like just a new, I just need, I needed it. You don't look different, but you do. Actually, you look like a Pinterest picture. Really? Oh, that's good. That's a compliment. He actually nailed it though. Like I showed him the photos and he literally like nailed it. He's like, you look I'm... like a woman. You look so like woman classy. I feel like you have a photo somewhere where you have hair like this. Oh my God. <laughs> it's dropped oh a lot. Oh my God. You look like a mum. But like when she was younger. The hairdresser was wow, like, you I look like so it. like woman, like classy vibes. Do you get darker? Yeah. Um, wow. No, just really the nice toner. Oh, why is it so blurry? It's just like the toner because that, that fades. Like, he just did the same color as what he usually does. It's dropped heaps. He had like it all fluffy. Guys, I had a really successful day shopping. So I'm going to give you a little haul of everything I bought. So I did a little bit of splurging in cotton on. They've got some nice little finds at the moment. I got this oversized green jumper. Green jumper. They have other colors? Yeah, they have a bunch of other colors. But I really like, like the turquoise dark blue. You are so cute. Um, so yeah, I got that, which I really like. I also got some jeans from them, which are, I got a size 10, which I know is not my size, but, but I like size oversize. And we always get so I just feel like they're gonna be way too big for me and not fit, but I kind of like, I just really loved the color. They're like that really old vintage wash rather than like a 
deep blue so and I have this really bad habit of buying clothes and not trying them on at the shops because I hate waiting in line for like the change rooms I got this little baby tea because can't go wrong with the basic oh, baby tea go goes with anything, everything this little tank because I really wanted oh like God. a thin Such spaghetti a strap yeah spaghetti strap singlet so I was like I'll probably wear it yeah maybe I don't know yet oh my god pop off cotton um off. I also got this little long sleeve for winter from Zara they had a few other colors too I was gonna get but I was like I'll just get one for now and see if I like it but yeah just a little basic long sleeve and then I just got some face masks which are my go-to face masks I just feel like I rave on about them all the time I recently posted on my story asking for dry shampoo recommendations and this is one of them that I got a lot of recommendations on. My hairdresser today also said that, because we, I was saying how our hair gets greasy really fast. Pull it. I just want to feel. Um, I was saying how our hair gets greasy really fast how and he was you like, start? you're better off using dry shampoo than like washing your hair. It's better for your hair to like have a good dry shampoo than like wash it every like second day. So. This from Mecca, way more expensive than I was expecting. Mm. Like when I Googled it, that's not how much it said. Probably it was a different size bottle. $47. What size is that? Did they not have a small size there? 190. Uh, yeah, this is 355. Doesn't matter anyway, it probably works out cheaper to get the bigger size. I'm gonna get a shock whenever I look at myself in the mirror now. They will. Alright guys, so it's the night time and I have procrastinated all day from packing for Melbourne tomorrow. We're literally like there for not even 24 hours so I really don't need to pack much. But I think I'm going to wear the clothes that I bought today, shopping. I ended up trying these cotton on jeans and I actually, they fit perfectly. Like the size was, I couldn't have gone any better with choosing this size. Like they fit so nice and they just look so flattering. I'm so happy. Do you think I can pass wearing my Uggs? Is it really? Yeah. Your Uggs? Yeah. To the yeah. airport. With your jeans? With my jeans and jacket. Yeah, of course. Good morning! So we're heading off to Melbourne tonight. I can't even remember if we mentioned it, but we're heading to Melbourne for the night. Also, I don't know why, but my hands have been I have, so dry. I'm having like an allergy fit right now. I've sneezed about 20 times in the last two minutes. Um... So yeah, we're heading to Melbourne for the night, literally like less than 24 hours because yeah. we have an event with Bonnet Sands for their new product launch. I literally fly home like 6am in the morning, so it's a quick trip. I'm worried I'm actually going to be like not warm enough because I'm assuming it's like really cold there at the moment. And I have packed like... It'll be cold hours. in the mornings and we are getting a 6am flight home tomorrow. So, so it'll, it'll be, be really like cold. really cold. I also went and got some breakfast and a coffee this morning because we have no we're up and we had no food in the house. We have nothing. no coffee. And I was like, that's just not how I want to start my morning waking up to no coffee. So I was like, I'm just going to go get my coffee and have a nice breakfast. Tried out this new cafe just down the road and it's really nice. My hair's also dropped a lot, guys. It's looking flat, but I'm still obsessed with it. I am like obsessed. Don't touch it. I need um, to get mine done. I was also so close. You know how expensive, the expensive dry shampoo I was talking about yesterday yes. and I showed you guys literally like $68 I was about to pack it in my carry-on bag and I was like hold on they're gonna take that off me and I will not let them take off take off me my expensive dry shampoo that hasn't been used yet so we've just arrived in Melbourne about we have a funny transfer. story about being on the plane as well it's not, it's not that funny but like it, it is when we're on planes and we get seated separately because you can't you don't have any internet or anything you can't text that's really horrible angle so we just um airdrop each other notes and have a conversation through our notes app because you don't need wi-fi or anything so you and just so like, we were just having like you just like comment on one note and then share it with each other that makes we're sense. just having a conversation on our notes here's our conversation <laughs> random photo of rivers me with some food yeah olivia wouldn't even give me a crackers and cheese because i'm starving Anyways, we're gonna go to our hotel now. Yeah. It's also like a lot hot, more hot than I was expecting. Yeah, actually, yeah, I was expecting to freeze it. So we've just checked into our room and I just wanted to explain the whole saga on the plane. So we were messaging each other, right? And I'm messaging Ashley and I'm like, I'm like saying, oh, I'm so hungry. So I need that whole chocolate bar because you I'm not, I'm just gonna have a cheese and crackers. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm really hungry. And she's like, well, let's order some food. And the the flight attendants had already gone through the aisle and served. Like, so we were like, we were pretty last minute. The flight was about to start ascending. And they started collecting rubbish. And I was like, no, like they've started collecting rubbish. So they're not going to order any more food. And they got to my aisle. And I was like, I'm too shy to ask. I'm too scared. Like I can't. It was. It's like one of those 
things where you want to speak but not, no words are coming out. Like I and generally also, could not seemed, speak. Everyone that was working in the airport and on the plane just seemed so intimidating. Yeah, really. It was quite chaotic. And then they got to my aisle and I was like, are you guys still serving food? Oh, mm. yum. Mm. Um, and then she was like, oh, you know, like we're collecting rubbish. Like we're, you know, getting ready to take down the plane. What is it? What's the word when the plane goes down? Take down the plane. <laughs> no, not take off. <laughs> What's the word? Descend? I don't know. I don't know. And I was like, oh, can I just get some crackers and cheese? Also, I just want some crackers and cheese. She's trying to order and then she's like, didn't order anything for me. So and then she yells, she like, Do you have any crackers and cheese? <laughs> <laughs> she yells to the other side of the plane, Can we get some crackers and cheese? So everyone on this plane knows that I want crackers and cheese and I'm like an annoying person that wants to order when they shut the thing. Mm, that's really good. Wow, no, that's real good. Wow. Anyway, I do not get my crackers and cheese. Oh my god. But we're gonna order some food, I think. Mmm. God, that's so good. It's mm. so thick. That is so yum. So thick. We're about to start getting ready, guys, but oh my god, this Caesar oh super last. This Caesar salad that we ordered, I'm not even over exaggerating. I think this is the yummiest seed salad amazing. I've ever tasted. Like, ever. So, we are all ready. And I actually never tried this dress on before before we like picked it up. Because it's a higher outfit. Yeah. It's really short. And it's also very nipply. Very nipply. Like what? Very nipply. Nipply. Yeah. It's cute though. It's giving futuristic. Which is the dress code, so I do think you've nailed it. You can't really see my outfit. I've also never seen Scooby Doo, but for some reason, this is reminding me of someone from Scooby Doo. I don't know if there's like a girl in there that like has a bob or like she wears purple. I actually don't really know, but it's nice. Oh, I actually really like my look. These are our outfits. We are matching. <laughs> Copy and paste, honestly. We, why? It just doesn't look as good on me though. Like, I don't know if it's like my boob or. Like it's you like choking. Like over there. Yeah, like, like try and bring it up your arm. And my arm. armpit's like coming out, like falling no, bring out. Bring it up your underarm. No, because it's almost like I need to wear it like this. What? It's meant to bulge. It's meant to just bunch up. I don't up. like it. <laughs> that looks fine. It's probably meant to be one of those dresses that looks better than it feels. I feel like one of my boobs is squashed up here though. Alright, the same. We've got to go. We do need to go. We are back home and we literally nearly missed our flight this morning because we were too busy oh sitting on the other side of the airport having coffee and our flight was the gate was closing so we like sprinted and i actually had like almost an asthma attack on the plane after running but yeah we're home now i just ran up to the shops and did some shopping so i'm gonna give you guys a haul because you guys haven't already had enough hauls in this video already i bought this jumper from h&m which was actually in the men's section and then i went to cotton on and got some like basics because i actually need some new basics like this is a cotton on one and it's like stained and i just need a new one basic white tank the exact same top that i have on now and then i got this one which is so cute how cute is that it's so cute it's so small i think it's just like also i'm so excited to shop for winter because Zara and H&M have such cute stuff. But yeah, that was all I got, guys. 